hello there lovely people how are you so as i said i'll be back again soon with more messages so here i am again okay so yesterday i was talking about that there are few other things that you need to know and these are equally important for you to acknowledge and then process through to find out solutions so that you can move forward because the thing is if you don't work through the things that i am about to talk about you'll repeat the patterns and situations again and again in your life and the same thing will keep reappearing okay so the very first thing here is that you need to let go of the past everything that was negative hurtful or traumatic for you you have to let it go once and for all which means you can't even hold on to anger resentment and grudges now how you're going to take this message is up to you but what i'm seeing is that this energy that you still have within you it it might not be your fault because as you purge things come up on the surface and this is exactly what's happening if you are into the spiritual practices that i talk about from time to time you might see that at times you feel a lot of hate anger resentment and grudges not just towards the karmic individuals but towards your counterpart as well and this is something which is extremely necessary for you to let go and heal because what's happening is that this energy is revolving around within you and is manifesting itself into sicknesses illness and blocks if you see that you are having problems with your head with your health constantly and one after the other some or the other issue keeps surfacing it's because of this thing dear twin flames and soulmates okay i am talking about you particularly here i am not giving any kind of general medical advice to anyone what i am saying is this is the reason why you are not able to heal properly the physical health issues you are having because this is exactly what's being shown to me these issues might be manifesting in the form of this condition where a lot of hair come out of your head which is i think it's called alopecia something like that if i'm not wrong constipation gas issues with your skin like boils rashes acne or anything that is making you look bad you getting my point or any other condition related with your health that is not improving even after you take medications or try remedies to solve the issue it still persists persists because there is a lot of negative energy that you're holding on to within your self from time to time you might find yourself getting boiled up against your counterpart for everything they've done to you from time to time you might find yourself cursing the individuals that are the reason for your separation and the heartbreak and the pain you are experiencing right now see the thing is that here it's not about being the bigger person and being the one who forgives others for 
their wrong doings it's not about that right now it's all about you i am not saying that you have to be the kindest person in the world that's not what i mean when i say that because a lot of you might come up with comments like how can you say that these people destroyed my life these people destroyed my connection these people gave me so much pain these people are the reason why i am suffering and things like that listen to me very carefully what they did is their karma what happened with you is your manifestation as well as karma please listen to that statement again everything that happens to us is our own manifestation creation and a result of our own karma from the past you might not understand it but it's all well organized by the universe so thing is that it's not just about forgiveness it's about freeing yourself so that you can move forward it's because i am saying that this thing is blocking you and is blocking your progression over this connection and your union so this is why this needs to let go of because if this is not dealt with properly it will continue to sabotage you and your connection with your counterpart this is difficult it's not easy it's not going to be easy let me clarify that as well this is not a psychic reading you can take it that way it's more like a channeling or a guidance straight away from the universe to you which is related related to this specific block that is bothering i think almost all the twin flames and soulmates out there right now because this thing is real if you don't let go of that resentment that anger and that habit of blaming for the pain people have caused you you can't expect a lot of progress and healing even though you might try harder harder than ever to heal and get rid of those blocks those energy blocks it will still persist might sound bitter but that that's the truth you getting my point I saw 744 when I said that. This might be a confirmation sign for some of you if you're really seeing that number a lot and 71 as well. So please understand these things. You have to let go of that. You have to stop sending hateful energy out into the universe. I'm not I'm not talking about sending hateful energy to these karmics or these people who um have actually and literally tried to sabotage you and destroy your life it's not about them right now it's not it's all about the equation you are setting with the universe it's not about them they are the part of the universe they belong to the same universe you belong to so it's up to you to choose to send only positive energy out into the universe this is basic okay this is basic something that you must always keep in mind other than that no matter who is the block in your connection whether it's your counterparts family members their mother the mother of their children their spouse their girlfriend their friends their work situation career whatever nothing will be able to stop your union instead all of these people are about to regret blocking you from reuniting or uniting or just being together with your counterpart because divine has taken you in their embrace 
and are supporting you and are in support of this connection they are encouraging you to continue to move forward and continue to face these challenges because it's doing nothing but clearing your karma which is which is extremely necessary for you to achieve a harmonious reunion or a union with your counterpart so just keep in mind and bear with these issues challenges and or obstacles that are coming at your way right now with faith and patience you simply have to keep one thing in mind nothing and no one can stop your divine union or divine marriage from happening no one can no matter how powerful these people seem i'm seeing 99 right now 99 is all about endings and new beginnings manifestations achieving goals starting fresh do you understand these people or these situations are there for a temporary period of time so just like you they are also learning their lesson and through the through way of these situations and circumstances everyone's karma is getting cleared so worry not you have to keep your side clean and pure whatever they are doing as i said already they are about to regret everything that they've done said or thought about doing or might have already done okay especially if it was their mother i'm seeing that these people are about to have a change of heart they'll develop respect love and compassion for you they'll realize that they've been or they were acting like the advocates of devil for whole of their lives and in a lot of your cases if you did your part in doing all the work that was necessary for your own self growth and healing and empowerment at the same time i am seeing that as rewards you are going to get adored respected accepted and appreciated by the same exact people who bullied and abused you including all of these karmic individuals but only when you will choose yourself first listen to that statement again only when you do the work for yourself for your own growth for your own healing and empowerment everything will come as a reward for you i'm seeing these people are going to regret being a blockage in your connection it doesn't matter what they are thinking and doing right now i am talking about the future here the possible and probable outcomes that are there on the horizon for you right now whatever is happening is happening for your own highest good let it all happen only through getting hit by karma these people are going to realize their lessons i am sorry these people are going to realize their mistakes and learn their lessons so you have to be patient with the process let it all happen let it all go let it all go and you must go with the flow okay be it their mother be it their father be it their sibling if you were already married your father in law mother in law sister in law brother in law their wife ex wife children whoever abused you ridiculed you humiliated you called you names plotted against you did you wrong threw shit on you anything or everything that happened which was negative you will receive abundance times tenfold of that only again let me clear this 
only when you work on yourself and do as guided by the universe you have to follow your purpose you have to follow the path of integrity and righteousness you have to live like a positive example and everything is going to fall into place for you in the divine right timing please keep this keep this in mind so these were the few things that i wanted to talk about and convey through these messages audio messages to you so i hope that it's it's going to bring you clarity and it's going to resolve your faith in the workings of the universe even more okay so that's all for now i'll be back again soon till that time please take care of yourself and your loved ones bye bye